All right, now where was I? Oh, yes, effect. Because I wanted an explosion effect. But do I want an explosion effect that um, that basically... Well, no. I, I, I probably won't use a graphic for it. But anyways, explosion effect. Let's see here. Effect create above and below. And then there's sound effects stuff. Hmm. Okay, let's see here. Effect create above uh, the kind, which I'm gonna have to look up using my uh, using my game maker stuff. And uh, x y size and color. Okay. Okay, yeah, I think I could. Uh, I think I can do that. Let's see here. Effect create above. And there's one, two, three, four, five stuffs. So, effect create above <clears throat> kind. Now, I don't know. What is that? I forget. Oh, pff, duh. All right. I didn't realize I minimized that. I thought I closed it. <laughs> Anyways, effect create above, and then it is uh, kind. Kind, X, Y, size, and color. Yeah, sounds about right. Uh, explosion, I'm not entirely sure what number that is, so let me go ahead and open Game Maker so I can access the help file, because unfortunately Enigma doesn't have a help file like this. But also, fortunately, uh, fortunately, the... Um, Okay, where is it? Simple effects. Uh, unfortunately, oh, just EF explosion. Pfft, that makes sense. Anyways, fortunately for me, the um, um, <coughs> uh, forgot what I was saying. Okay, so self dot x, self dot y. Size, 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 size. I, I think that that uses zero through, or zero and, mo zero and one maybe, uh, with one being large, zero being small. Let me go ahead and do one, see what that looks like real quick. It also might indicate the effect radius, so I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, anyway, self.x, self.y, uh, one, and then color will be C. Is there a C orange? No. C red. Why not? And then instance destroy. Okay, so that is basic bomb. I uh, don't need a draw event. And I'm hoping that that will actually be all I need for this. So in order to uh, summon it, I'm going to have to create an inventory option for the bombs, but um, let's see here. Key press, and we'll do, let's see here, let's do, you know what, instead of doing the key, let's do mouse instead. So, um, modify, add, mouse and I forgot to turn the music back on okay next song okay so mouse global global mouse uh, hmm I'll do right right pressed and then uh, instance create and I'll do um, self.x, self.y of object bomb standard, and we'll see if that works. That way, it doesn't matter if the mouse is even on the, like in the window, if you right click the mouse, it will place a bomb.
Sorry. Ah! Um, you know, I'm I'm no expert coder, but I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> Let's check that. <laughs> okay, normal step. If bomb phase is equal to true, alarm zero is ten. That's why. Okay. Um. Huh, how in the world am I going to do that? Uh. Also, I'm going to add bomb phase 2 equals false. And then, and bomb phase 1 equals false. <sighs> bomb phase 2, alarm 2. Okay. I have no, no idea whatsoever why, um, I have no idea whatsoever why th all of the other instances, uh, changed to that. I, it's like, what? <laughs> it's like, why in the world did it do that? <laughs> Maybe that's, uh, part of the timeline. Did I... Did I screw this up somewhere? Bomb phase one. Bomb phase two. True. Bomb phase one. False. Nope. Hmm. That is the weirdest thing I have ever seen. <laughs> and actually, I'm gonna do this here. Cut. And then on destroy. Create the effect. Let's do that, just in case that's, oopsie, just in case that is what's causing all the other sprites to change. Honestly though, it makes no sense whatsoever, if that's actually the case. this timeline and then I'm just gonna recode everything so upon create alarm zero not negative zero alarm zero equals uh, 10 okay Alarm 1 equals 3, Sprite Index Bomb Phase 1, Alarm 1, <coughs> Alarm 0 equals 3, Sprite sprite Bomb Basic. Okay, so that should make this, this one flash about 10 frames after its creation. So it should be like... Um, about the same time that the boulders fall on the sides is when this bomb should flash. Ugh. <clears throat> what is up with that? Hmm. 
Furthermore, I'm going to change this to, let's see here, 120. Um, and also, hmm, I keep thinking this might be the issue that it's causing. It's really weird because it's, it's replacing the, it's not replacing anything other than the, uh, the mineable tiles, but it's not meant to do that, <laughs> you know? It's not supposed to do that. Hmm. That makes no sense at all. That makes no bloody sense. Ugh. Applies to self. destroy but that hasn't been set so What? Now only one of them changed. Okay, 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 okay. Um... <laughs> I don't know how ironic. <laughs> okay, let's see here. If instance number of object bomb standard is less than one then it will create the bomb otherwise it will not I have no idea why. Oh, sure, now it's not gonna... What the hell? So all of these are reading as bombs. This is making no sense whatsoever. Like, seriously, this is... Uh... This is literally not making any lick of sense at all. 
and should not be doing any of this the way it is anyway. Well, at least this part works. <laughs> Upon destroying the instance, it does create the effect. Although it is a large effect, so I'm going to change the value to zero. Because I believe zero is small, so let's do that. And of course, I'm no expert on effects. I rarely ever use them, but still. That's a little bit better, I guess. <sighs> Why is it replacing all those? I, it literally makes no sense. It's t I'm telling it to replace object bomb standard with the object bomb standard sprite index with the bomb. Not any other object, just this object, and it should not be doing what it is. Let me change it to a different layer. For all I know, that could fix it. A good majority of uh, issues that I have will cause me to stop and think. And that's basically what I'm doing now, so...
I honestly have no idea how I'm going to fix this. I have no clue. Furthermore, I have absolutely no idea I just I don't know I'm almost afraid to create any more features because of all of these issues Let me start over with this <clears throat> I'm just gonna do a step by one step at a time to see where it was to see if I can nail down the issue because this is insane. For all I know, this could be an interpreter issue for the C side of Enigma itself. And again, I don't know C, so if it was, I don't know how to fix it. Other than to just, you know. Rework it until I can just ha until I just happen to get it fixed, you know. <sighs> Once again, C plus plus error. Oh well. I'm, I guess I'll just say screw it to bombs, because I'm not going to be able to do it. Simply because the program itself won't let me do it. I guess it's not too big of an issue. For those of you who are watching, and I know there's at least one of the one of you who watches that uses Enigma, can you please explain to me why that happens and how to fix it? Because there's absolutely no help file that comes with Enigma that will allow me to research on any of this. And I'm used to using GameMaker 8. So if you've ever used GameMaker 8, then you can pretty much explain to me the differences. Because at the moment, I am not well versed enough in the way this program works to be able to solve issues like that. And taking the time to learn C++, in my opinion, might be a waste of time, for all I know, you know? I mean, if it's just going to be for this program, then when I use it, then I don't know. It's just that's just for the birds, honestly. All right. Now then, I guess I'll fix the boulders next, assuming the program's going to let me fix the boulders.
I have no idea if this is even going to work. But we'll see. does not. In fact, that breaks the whole thing. <sighs> okay, let's see here. Or object man dot y is <coughs> less than or equal to self dot y minus 16 check errors just in case okay I know that it's something like that but it's probably gonna take me a minute to get the correct one Let's see here. Okay. Um, I have to do something, so I'll be back. <laughs> 